In this video we shall be looking at a Corsair Voyager USB stick and we shall be looking at it until it is completely destroyed. That sounds kind of grim but there's a reason why I'm making this video and it has been a long time coming. You see when the Voyager first came out Corsair made it look like it's so durable it's almost indestructible. They gave it a 10 year warranty which is now down to 2 years warranty but let's have a look at how it does. So to start us off let's look at the product itself what its features are and how it performs. So the Voyager has a soft rubber shell with a rubber cap on top. There is a blue LED indicator. The rubber cap is not attached to the body with anything so it is sort of susceptible to being lost. It comes pre-formatted using FAT32 and we are testing the 8GB version. The read and write speeds aren't really that impressive. The write speed is about 6 to 7 megabytes per second, while reading is a little bit better at about 28 to 30 megabytes per second. So time to try out something a bit more severe. Will the drive survive in case it fell under the wheels of a car? So we have a regular sedan weighing over a ton, standing on a concrete floor. And we not so accidentally place the USB stick in front of the tire and the car goes over and then back once again and then we pick it up let's have a look all it got was dirty so we brought it in cleaned it up a little bit plug it in and immediately the LED starts flashing so it's not completely dead yet and the laptop recognizes we open it what we have in there now is a single file video file just to test that it is reading it's working and as it stands the video file is loading oh there we go it runs so things are good let's move on to the next test so this time around I put it in the freezer with some ice and the temperature got down to minus 18 which is not too cold by any means but cold enough plugged it into the laptop same process same video file and it works no surprises there next we have boiling water on a gas stove the USB stick is still a little bit cold from the freezing and we're gonna drop it straight into the boiling water you know it's interesting water boils at 100 degrees but the rubber surface of the USB stick actually went above 100 degrees possibly due to being in direct contact with the metal pan or maybe for some other reason you are welcome to leave a note on the comment section below in any case it is under hot waters <laughs> quite literally all right so we pull it out and give it a good old same test eh, lights up video works so it's definitely not dead yet so for the next test we have some quick setting concrete the idea is we're gonna bury the drive in the concrete and let it set hard so when the concrete is setting there's gonna be a lot of water there and concrete itself has chemicals that may be harsh and of course um, the aspect of breaking it out that would have a lot of um, impacts a lot of shock waves going through it and so forth so um, that would be a pretty harsh test to survive now there are a few things that happened one this test was being conducted outdoors obviously and I couldn't predict the weather and on top of that I placed the concrete in a plastic bowl so the water had no place to go and it rained so for over six days it remained wet so I took it out of there and placed it in a paper box and then it set so what we have is a nice chunky block of concrete and somewhere in there is our USB stick. So it's hammer time. One, nothing, and harder, bang, we got it. So sorting through the rubble, we found the USB stick. Uh, it doesn't look pretty anymore, but um, Let's give it a try if it is still alive. So before I plug this in, I realized that the cap is slightly open. There's just a bit of gap and probably water got in through there. And also 
the connector is arched inwards now this could have been the impact from the hammer or the pressure created by con setting concrete so this time around the poor thing is actually dead i tried to dry it i tried to clean it but to no avail so what are my thoughts well to start off for a thumb drive it's not the fastest but for day-to-day -day use it should be sufficient but it sure knows how to cling on to dear life. I mean, we drove over it, and then we froze it, and then we boiled it, and then it was buried in wet concrete where it remained wet for over six days, and then another two days in the next one, and then it was hit on the head by a hammer, and then it died. But had it survived that, I would have thrown it into a bonfire. Anyhow, the point is sort of proven. It is a fairly hardy sort of USB stick. If you like being adventurous, the Corsair Flash Voyager will go with you wherever you are going. Uh, just make sure not to fall into concrete. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. What you liked or disliked about this video, please make sure to leave a note on the comment section below. And also, please make sure to subscribe in order to stay updated with our latest upcoming videos. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.